Tottenham Court Road, where the retailers deal in high-end home furnishings. But on the pavements outside are canvas homes, furnished with other people's rubbish. The government plans to introduce a bill that could see rough sleepers fined or even jailed if they are deemed to be a nuisance to other people. There used to be loads of um, facilities for people, loads of access points. William, who currently lives on this street, says sleeping rough is hard enough. Once you're in homelessness, once you're in that circle, it's really hard to change your life. I think the stigma and everything that's attached to it, it just, yeah, it's really hard. And what do you feel about the government saying, you know, people could be prosecuted for begging, for sleeping in certain places, uh, that sort of thing? I think they, if they need, if they want to do that, because they need to give some sort of alternative. Under the proposed criminal justice bill, this small collection of tents could be considered a nuisance if there is excessive smell or if they cause litter. But a group of backbench Tory MPs are threatening to vote against it. The charity Crisis says they're right to do so. What people really need is housing and support if they need support to, to get off the streets. That's, that's really obvious and the government in other government departments from the Home Office know that very well. When the bill was introduced by the then Home Secretary Suella Braverman, she said this. We must make sure that we don't go down the same route as some cities in the US, like San Francisco or Seattle, where living in a tent has become a lifestyle choice. For eight months, this tent has been Michael's home. Originally from Wales, he once worked in the Savoy Hotel. He doesn't want to show his face, but says no one would choose this life. I think it's very narrow-minded just to think, you know, that it'd be illegal to be living in a tent now. It's, it's just so... Well, it's been described by the former Home Secretary as a, as a lifestyle choice. What do you think of that? No, no, I don't think it's a lifestyle choice. It's, it's cruel. It's cruel. People, they just... They, people, they're born into money. They don't... They don't understand. The government says nobody should be criminalised for simply having nowhere to live and say they're repealing the outdated Vagrancy Act. They say new rules will address behaviour that can make the public feel unsafe, such as begging at cash points. But, they add, they're also investing over £2 billion in helping get people like Michael off the streets. Jason Farrell, Sky News.